okay so let's continue the <clears throat> next thing that we're gonna do is like division in polynomials okay so you can say division algorithm for polynomials okay so how are we going to follow that so you can say like we have a polynomial in x and what is that polynomial you can say it is 3x raised to power 4 then minus 4x cube minus 3x minus 1 okay and then there is a polynomial gx as well means like the gx polynomial with which we are going to divide it it will be a bit smaller than this okay like its highest degree is 4 so the the divisors degree will be less than that okay so let's take a linear one for start so we have to do what we have to divide these two so do you know how to divide them? that's just a question they can ask like we know how to multiply them you know how to multiply them yes or no yeah so you need to know how to divide them as well wait so what do we do? so 3x to the power 4 minus 4x cube minus 3x minus 1 over x minus 2 yeah you can say that way as well but okay. ahana i'm audible to you yes i know you okay so we are going to learn about what we are going to learn about the division algorithm okay means like how the division works over there for the polynomials get it so we have these yeah. two polynomials one is px one is gx so we need we will learn like how we will go the division okay how we will do the division for them so just as the normal way like you know how to divide what let's say we have a bigger number uh for example i have 125 and i need to divide it by 5 you know how do we do that so <clears throat> we will just count the table of 5 or you will say like you will search for the multiples of 5 which will be nearer to what nearer to 12 yes or no or nearer to 1 12 or then 125 so 5 twos are 12 or uh, 10 then i will subtract them i got a 2 i will bring down the 5 then 5 fives are 25 you have get it or not yeah, yeah. so the same method we're going to apply but this time we will be following it for what we will be following it for the polynomials so look at there how we're going to do that so you can say the internal part of this one will be what this one will be this dividend okay so 3x raised to power 4 then you can say minus 4x cube minus 3x and then i have negative 1 now i need to divide it by what i need to divide it by x minus 2 that's my divisor yes or no and the question is asking to you what will be its you can say the quotient and what will be the remainder if it is not perfectly divisible get it yeah so what will be the first step yes. we need a 3x raised to power 4 but we have a x at the start okay so how you will be having it with what number you will multiply x so that you will get a 3x raised to power 4 do you know about that what will be that number over here that i should put x times what will give me 3x raised to power 4 just look at no not a 2x over here is only 1 so 1 times what will give me 3 so you will say a 3 need to be there oh sorry 3x yeah. to the power of 3 yeah and then i have a x raised to power 1 but i need x raised to power 4 so x cube i will put it over here yes or no get it yeah that's how you need to check so we got our number so you can say first of all we're going to multiply this by 3x cube okay so now this 3x cube is not only going to multiply it with x we have to multiply 3x cube with this 2 as well okay get it so what answers we will be mm -hmm. having 3x cube times this x first of all will give us 3x raised to power 4 then 3x cube times this 2 or negative 2 will give you what <clears throat> 3x cube multiplied by negative 2 will give you a negative 6x cube okay get it yeah 
yeah you get it now like we need to multiply it by 2 and we need to multiply it by x as well because yes, ultimately what we are doing we are just doing this so if you just multiply these two what answers you will be having so you will be having this okay get it yeah any confusion out there no no good so the next step will be what so we're going to multiply them and we just multiplied so the next step is just we will do the subtraction like in normal question also while we were dividing like 125 by what by 5 what we did they both are positive but why we are doing subtraction because we are changing sign so the next step is to change the signs okay so the sign changing will be done on the basis of their previous signs so this 3x raised to power 4 is positive now so i will put a negative sign in below it this is negative so i will put a positive sign below it now i will do the subtraction this is zero for me and on this part what i will have positive Wait, 6x what? cube minus 4x cube will give you how what? are we getting 6x cube sorry how are we getting 6x cube if you multiply 3x cube with the whole bracket over here 3x cube firstly with x you got a 3x raised to power 4 3x cube with the negative 2 it will give you what negative 6x cube get it yes or okay. no because this 3x cube is like not going to only multiply it with x only we need to multiply it with negative 2 as well yeah so why are you dividing it why we are dividing it because we have learned no, sorry, about addition sorry why are we multiplying like the brackets <laughs> because like let's say this 5 and 2 is written so if i will write mm -hmm. it down like if i will break the 5 as 4 plus 1 and then like this 2 will be multiplied with both of them again na? 2 times 4 is 8 2 times 1 is 2 then only you will be getting a 10 yes or no 2 4s are 8 and 2 1s are 2 then it will give you a 10 and that's why you are putting a 10 over there get it so the same case you can say is happening over here this is a bracket so this whole bracket need to be multiplied with the whatever quotient you are putting up there okay because there are two terms if there will be only one term in the divisor then you will be div uh, like you will be only doing it one time get it or not yeah okay so we got 3x raised to power 4 and then we get a negative 6x cube this was the first step you just need to think about this number that what you will be putting up there so that you will get this first term back okay so we multiplied yeah. it but with what we thought about it so we got our question and then we multiplied both these if there will be three terms you will be multiplying them by three you have to do it three times okay now you have only two terms in this bracket so we are doing we are multiplying 3x cube only two times okay the next step is we change the signs because we have to do the subtraction so positive become negative negative become positive so this gives me a zero now what i have 6x cube minus 4x cube it will be what a 2x cube for me yes or no yeah and then i will bring down this negative 3x for me get it or not yeah okay what will be the next step um <laughs> sorry yeah now again you have to think now again you have to think that with what number we should multiply this x so that we get what a 2x cube so what is that number so this thinking process we have to do again so this x needs to be multiplied again by what we need to think and so that answer will be what 2x cube so what's that number 2x square okay so 2x square will be the number a positive 2x square i will write down so if you write down a positive 2x square so 2x square times x will be what a 2x cube yes or no 2x square mm -hmm. times negative 2 will be how much negative 4x square yep yes mm -hmm. or no so yeah. is it a power square they are the like terms or not i am getting a negative 4x square yes or no they are the like terms or not this no. 3x and this 4x square are the like terms no they are not the mm -hmm. like terms so whenever you do not get the like terms so what you need to do you need to write it separately okay where you will be writing it like after this just put it after a space okay get it we do not have anything for this so you're going to put a zero i hope you get it yeah okay okay 
again we're going to change the signs so this is a negative now this one will be negative and this negative will become a positive get it this step is clear yeah. we're going to do the subtraction 2x cube minus 2x cube is 0 again you have to think about like you will be writing them in order so 4x square will come before the 3x okay so i will be writing 4x square first and then this negative 3x i will write down okay get it yes or no yeah. okay <laughs> the step will be repeated again this time this x need to be multiplied with something so that we will get what we will get this 4x square so with what number you will multiply it 2x yeah. no 4x 4x only okay so we're going to multiply by 4x so this time i will put 4x up there 4x times x will give me a 4x square and then 4 times 2 will give me a negative 8x and 3x and 8x are the like terms so that's why we can easily write them below each other okay so next step will be what again you're going to do the changing sign process so we're going to change their signs this positive become negative this negative become positive so 4x square minus 4x square is 0 8 minus 3 is what a 5x yes or no and then i will bring yeah. down this negative one that is that we haven't used yet so 5x minus 1 i got so again you have to think with what number you should multiply this 1x so that you will get a 5x so what's the five. number just a 5 okay so 5x you got so now we're going to write it below it so we're going to write we're going to multiply it by 5 so 5x minus 10 again the change in sign process will happen so this is positive now become negative negative become positive so it is zero for me so 10 minus 1 is 9 for me is it clear yeah so what answer you're getting so as a remainder how much nine so we are getting a nine as a remainder okay get it yeah so just yeah. note down the whole division process step by step okay this is a little bit complex process like you have to think for each step what we will be doing ne next but if you will do it one or two time you will become habitual of it okay so just mm -hmm. have a note while noting it down ju don't just copy it try like doing it by yourself one more time and if you got stuck at any step then like we'll help you there be quick Actually, you're done with the division part. No. Just match, just match your steps, okay? That you have done them correctly or something wrong with it. Okay. Then we will try out the same thing on a new question. Oh wait, I made one mistake. If there will be one single mistake, the whole thing will go wrong after that step, okay? Yeah, the last mistake I made was uh, I didn't multiply the 5 and the negative 2. So that is an important step. You have to be careful. Yeah. <clears throat> Wait, so the um, quadratic equation we just discussed, like that didn't have any like pairs, like proper pairs. That, that have How pairs. We will discuss that one later on don't worry that have pairs but there will be a different way to approach those pairs okay get it so we will discuss that way 
later on. Oh, okay. We have some formula. There is a formula. Okay, we call it like a quadratic formula, and then there is one more method by completing the square. So those two methods are remaining for you. Okay, don't worry about them. Okay, if you're done, let's move on to the next question. Okay. You're done with it now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any confusion out there? So what steps we have we have to follow and how we are doing it? No, I think it's fine. Okay. It is just easy, like just the steps, number of steps are more. Otherwise, the question is quite easy. So you have to, you can say, do the division of polynomial Px like it is the dividend you can say so the value for this is x cube plus x square plus 2x plus 3 and the gx that is divisor is x plus 2 so you have to find out px divided by gx be quick Did you get any answer? Um, Not yet. Wait, so, um, yeah, I have to see how, like, how many, um, like, X plus. Yeah, x plus 2 need to be multiplied with what so that you will get x cube, okay? That part you have to think about. You just have to think with x what number we multiplied so that we get this first term that is x cube, okay? Our first term of divisor is x, our first term of dividend is x cube. So we need to search for that pair which you will multiply in this divisor so that you will get x cube. So x multiplied by what will give you x cube? That will be your first quotient you can say first term of quotient get it yeah with what number you want to multiply it yep x need to be multiplied with what so that you will get x cube do you oh, have such um, value x to the power of two yeah x square will be that pair okay yeah. So x time x square will be what? Uh, x cube you will have. Yeah. Yes or no? Yep. So x square I will put up there. I will get a x cube. Then x square multiplied by 2 will be what? A 2x square. Yes or no? This x square will be multiplied by x. And then will be multiplied by 2 as well. Then we going to do what? Then we going to follow the subtraction method. Or changing the sign so the x, x cube have a positive sign it will become a negative this one have a positive sign it will be negative again so i got a zero if i subtract these two yeah, yeah. what i will get if i subtract these two a positive x square and a negative 2x square you don't need to focus on this positive two now it's a negative two now okay so negative two positive one what answer you will have yeah what negative answer you will have positive. negative two positive one what it will give you if you add them or subtract them yes. multiply them add them these two Sorry, so you're always like very laggy these, okay okay these two need to be subtracted only the positive x yeah. square negative two x square how much you will mm -hmm. have negative x square negative x squared yeah negative x squared you will get okay then i will bring down this 2x so down I there i got my answer, I got I got my answer. okay let's see 
then the next step will be x again need to be multiplied by something so that we get a negative x square so what will be that number so that number will be a negative x yes or no because yeah. we need a negative yeah. sign so negative need to be introduced now so negative x times x gives you negative x square then negative x times positive 2 gives me negative 2x get it yep okay then again i will change my signs so negative become positive negative become positive so this one will be zero x square minus x square is a zero but 2x plus 2x will be how much 2x plus 2x will be both are positive now 2x and 2x both are positive so you will get what you have to be quick 4x 4x and then plus 3 i will bring down now okay <clears throat> so you need to multiply it you need to multiply this x again by something so that you get 4x so what that number will be a positive 4, four? perfect so positive 4 will be that number so 4 times x gives me a 4x 4 times 2 will give me a positive 8 yes or no now i will change my sign so 4x minus 4x is a 0 so 8 minus 3 will be how much a 5 but a positive or a negative a negative 5 reason because 8 have a negative sign now and it is the bigger number so the sign at the end will be for a bigger number get it yes sir so, uh, Dashil, you got it correct or wrong? I got it correct, sir. Good. Hana, did you get it? Like how we are doing it? Yeah, I did. It's just, I just need, like I made a mistake with one of the signs. That's it. So you have to be careful. Yeah. The sign. There are two methods only, two steps only that you need to focus on. First, with what number you will multiply the given divisor so that you will get the same term. Okay. Second step, after writing those terms that you will get after multiplying the divisor with the quotient, you need to change the sign, okay? And then the subtraction addition where you have to focus on, okay? Get it or not? Yep. Yep. <clears throat> so, I think that's enough for today. Like the normal questions that they will ask you will be about like if you divide these two polynomials together, so what will be the quotient and remainder, okay? In the next class, we will discuss about a method where you can skip this whole division, but only if they will ask you about the remainder part. Like for example, I have given you these two. Like I have given you these two polynomials, Px and Gx, and I am just asking you, what will be my remainder if I will divide them? Only remainder I need it, okay? Then there is a shortcut you can say, or a method you can say, which, which uh, by doing like that, we can skip this one, okay? So we will learn about it in next class. Yeah. Yep. But before that, we need to do a more and more practice of this method because this is much important. So yeah, we can, yeah, we will do the practice on it. Don't worry. Okay. Then we will follow with that code. Okay, then I think that's enough for today. Bye.